The National Geographic Channel has been airing the series Die Trying. It follows experts and adventures around the world on some of the most dangerous research missions. Tonight's finale, Great White Ambush, shows a team placing high-tech cameras on the fins of great white sharks near South Africa. Oh, careful. Okay, son. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, you are what? To the face. Taylor, are you okay? I think that shark wasn't too precise about the tag we put on it. Yeah. That was Taylor Chapel getting smacked in the chin by a shark's fin. He's a shark specialist at Stanford University. Good morning. Good morning. You're a shark specialist. I am, yep. Wow. And so what do you learn by putting these cameras on the fin? Well, I mean, sharks are these amazing creatures, these amazing predators in our ocean. And the cameras are giving us an insight uh, to be on board with the animal. So we can take video of a shark swimming around, but we want to know what they're doing when they're not around us. So that's what these, these cameras and these tags enable us to do is to, to, to follow the shark, to, to see what it sees and really experience the, the oceans as they do. So what are they doing and what do you see? Uh, they spend a lot of time swimming, as you can imagine. <laughs> um, so they're, you know, a lot of the time they are, they cruise along the bottom. They're, they're just really, you know, they're, they're part of that system, part of that ecosystem. So they're, um, you know, they're looking around for prey. They're, they're looking for, for conspecifics for other sharks, um, that type of thing. Uh, and you can imagine what, what we found is that they don't, they're not hunting and eating all the time. Do they develop relationships? You know, I, I don't know if we can pick anything like that out. Um, yeah. They, uh, they definitely develop a no, relationship with their serious. food, yeah. and, you know. No, they I, know no, recognize I, other sharks. Yeah. They do. They, they do recognize other sharks. They, you know, they're, they're keenly aware of what, whatever's around them. Yeah. So they recognize other sharks, other animals. You know, they recognize people in boats and things like no, that No, I've well. wondered that, too, if they had some kind of emotion. Because I was wondering, can they tell the difference between a seal and a human being, for instance? You were saying at one point in the video it said it's sort of like the seal is an all-you-can-eat buffet. Right. And I'm thinking, do they know the difference whether it's me or whether it's a seal? Yes, because well, you don't want to be an <laughs> well, all-you-can-eat buffet. I don't want to be part of somebody's all-you-can-eat buffet. Yeah, and that's the amazing thing is that where we do a lot of the work, there are you know hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people the yearly that are in the water. California is where we do a lot of our work. and. We can be out doing research and there'll be 15 sharks around us in a, in a given day, you know, at different times. And you can see guys in the lineup just down, just down the way. And those sharks are able to discern what's food and what's not. You know, I, yeah. I surf, I'll go out in the water and work, and then I'll go out and I'll go surfing right after that. So it's, you know, I'm comfortable with it. And I know that there's they're these incredible discerning predators. But you guys were trying to get a breach, what you call when they, those guys the size of a car lift out of the water. The video, by the way, is amazing. Lift out of the water, grab somebody and come back in. And you were really willing to risk Something. Your... Let's not say somebody. <laughs> okay, something. Something. <laughs> You're right. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think the video, Taylor, was amazing. <laughs> and you all, everybody on that crew practically risked their life to get this shot. Yeah. And for us, it's a, it's a cost benefit. Um, everything that we do is you weigh those, those risk and the, and, the, and the outcome and for us um, it worked out we got these amazing footage we this amazing these amazing data about what the sharks doing and, and how it does it and what's the most amazing thing about them uh, everything that's, that's that's I don't think your shows long enough I can list all those <laughs> well, but give me the top two uh, no the top two of that they, they they are these these incredible predators that they and it goes back to your question they are discerning they are able to, to pick out what's food and what's not and exist in this um, you know, in these these oceans that uh, in a way that's just it's, it's it's really it's amazing. It's amazing to see them. We talk a lot about sharks on this program, but what does the health of sharks tell us about the health of the ocean? Sharks are sort of the, the sentinel uh, of the ocean. They are the top of the food chain. And so they give us an idea of what a healthy system is. So on the West Coast, we have it's, it's like a blue Serengeti. It's this amazing um, the African Serengeti, but underwater and yeah. white sharks are your lions. And so what they do is they tell you how healthy the rest of your system is. You have healthy shark populations is a good indication that you have the, all the other populations underneath. And are how are as well. our oceans on the West Coast? Uh, right now we're, we're doing well. We have a lot of protected, marine protected areas and things like that. We, um, you know, we, do, we do well to, to, to protect our sharks. Well, you know. I tell you this, until I saw the video, I never thought a shark tail was so damn cool. But the way <laughs> that guy moves yep. and the way it propels itself was fascinating. Yeah, me. and I got, a, I got an up close. Uh, yeah, you when, really when it hit you, you thought. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you get an appreciation for how much power is right. in there. Yeah, but that's they're, they're amazing how fast that tail goes, and they can go from you know, zero to 60 pretty quickly. You yep, be glad I'm not your mother, your girlfriend, or your sister, because I'd be nah, 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 you all the time. <laughs> but I'm glad you're okay. Glad you're okay. It was really fascinating. Taylor Chapel is his name. The name of the program is called 
die trying, and they almost do, at Airs Tonight on National Geographic.